Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about probably one of the most unknown but biggest disasters in Magic the Gathering history, and it is the Hell Vault. Now, each Hell Vault came with tokens and oversized cards, but 30 Hell Vaults, which have been confirmed by Wizard of the Coast, had foil tokens, foil oversized cards, and promos, including Demonic Tutor. Demonic Tutor at the time was a $200 promo. Your qu question might be, did everyone get one? And the answer would be they should have got one, but they went straight to eBay instead. Imagine you are a game store and you got 54 Demonic Tutor promos, you got 108 double-sided foil angel tokens worth 40 to 50 dollars they actually were worth a lot more when they were first released and you got 54 oversized commanders worth 100 to 200 dollars we're talking about twenty-five thousand dollars in a promotional hell vault it would be very easy for you to say i lost it now you might ask hey these people don't open products early so no one would know if there was any good product in the hell vault incorrect everyone was opening their hell votes to put their cats in it wizard of the coast actually acknowledged this that people were opening hell votes early before the actual midnight pre-release to put cats into the hell vault you think i'm kidding but no there's there is a meme you can go back in time that is what my local game store did they put a cat in our hell vault and they tweeted it out i know i don't know if they had twitter at the time well anyway they, they sent me a message and they said hey the hell vault's in the majority of local game stores if told do not open this product for until pre-release guess what they do they open the product so you have out of the 6,000 hell volts, you have 30 hell volts that are different from the rest. And they are only given to advanced level WPN stores, which would normally be okay, except no, no one was told about this. So if you are a player and you had the choice between going to your local game store, which may not be advanced, and a larger store, and having you know the chance to hit the money load, wouldn't you just not go to your local game store? You would, everyone would just go to the advanced stores because they would realize that there is some chance. So out of the 6,000 hell volts, I probably advanced stores are what? A thousand, maybe 500 of them. You have maybe, let's say 300. You have a one in 10 chance of hitting a hell vault at an advanced store and a 0% chance of hitting a hell vault in a, any non-advanced stores. Now, each of these things are incredibly valuable. The foil oversized Averson sells by listing for 108. The foil token is selling for 45. It did get a massive downgrade because they reprinted the same artwork. And most importantly, the demonic tutors have gone up to 270, almost $300 now. Some people and some stores were favored and then others were not. Instead of, which would be the logical solution in my opinion, if you have 30 stores, each of these stores are giving out 54 promos, or let's assume they're all demonics for this case, then that's 1,500 promos. Well, one in every four stores could get a promo, and that would be given to the winner of the event. That would be pretty cool. Why would they, in this system, why would they give all the promos to 30 stores? It's because of favorism. They said that they were randomly selected. I remember they were not. I remember that had that statement had to come out because there was the collusion. Some stores that employees worked for or previously you know, worked at received these hell votes and other people did not. Imagine how crazy it would be if the store that you almost went to but instead you went to a local more mom and pop store got in hell vote and everyone got the $300 demonic everyone got the $200 avison everyone got the $50 token so everyone even the biggest loser 
comes out with $450 worth of Magic promos, which do age well, by the way. So there's not even, I mean, it's it would be very simple. One in every four can get a promo, but then the one in every four stores that don't get the promo will get a foil, or actually one in every two, because there's 108 foil tokens, will get a, the math actually works out perfectly. So you either get a judge promo, you get a foil token, because there's 108 of those, and or you get a foil double-sided flip commander, and every helpful has one of these things. Why did they not do that? I speculate that they they understood that that was a logical way to do it. The winner of these Hellvolt mid uh, pre-release events, the midnight of events, would get a special card. But to favor these stores, and it's all about favoritism. You know, some stores get lower prices, some stores get higher prices, and it's not even the distribution network they use. It's just favoritism. Some people are favored. If you are a judge, it really seems today that you can't do anything wrong. Even if you have like 40 criminal charges for sexual offense against you, you're still a judge. We'll protect you guys. You know, judges protect each other type of scenario. And then some people are banned for life. So what is the difference between, you know, having a Hellvolt and not having a Hellvolt? $25,000, $30,000, who cares about that? You're only a local game store. So there's two different, there's two issues. One, they never told anyone. So everyone was opening their hell votes early. I guess if they told people, all the advanced stores would have their hell votes open early as well. And two, these promos were never actually given out. Um, as soon as the store realized what happened, because they were putting their cats in these boxes, if they found a packet of 54 Judge Demonic Tutors at that time worth $10,000, Maybe they don't know the tokens are valuable. Maybe they don't know the commanders are valuable, and that's, that's fine. But man, they would know that the demonic tutors are valuable because they can just go online to figure that out. 54 of them. Do you feel like if you are a store owner and someone just gave you 10K in cash and all you had to do was not tell anyone and say that you lost your hell vote, that's not even 10k in cash. Like, this, okay, it's 10k in cash for the store owner that he knows of, but it's actually around 25k in cash. Would you say, hmm, I'm going to take my 30,000k or 25,000k and not tell anyone and my hell vault was lost? Or would you actually give them out? Most stores, even back then, were break even or my friend's store and bankrupt four times four times and he had the hell vote too obviously he was not an event store because it was very small but at the end of the day you have favorism for event stores which is fine most times but out of those event stores the 30 stores will were selected based on who they knew you look, look at this promo it is gorgeous right like it is you can sell it for $107 right now. And that's not even the, you can sell it for even more. So at the very end of the day, you had an epic disaster where they could have fixed it. They could have given all 6,000 hell volts, could have contained a foil flip side. They don't need to produce anymore. They produced enough. Instead of putting in, in only 30 hell volts and just making it ridiculously expensive, they could have made every single hell volt have a promo or a foil flip side token, or a foil commander. And then the store would be able to figure out what they wanted to do with it. Did they want to randomly give it away? Did they want to give it to the winner? That's the way you do it. That's the way you do it. You don't do it like they did it, unless your goal was to give money directly to stores. $30,000 is a lot of money for any store. I just can't see... Like fatal pushes, for instance, like a fatal push, what's that? Eight dollars, eight ten dollars for the promo. How fast did they get on eBay? As soon as they received it, all of them was on eBay. Like the Path to Exile promo, all of them were on eBay the next day. So, if they were willing to do that for a lesser promo, 
My goodness, what would they be willing to do for a free $100 promo? And that's just what they know. I'm assuming they don't actually understand the value of the rest of the contents. Because maybe they think everyone else got the rest of the contents too. Anyway, bye guys.